Hello everyone and welcome to Math with Meshcore. This video is going to be a contest between contestant A and then contestant B on the problem what is the value of x in x times x divided by x times x plus x times x is equal to x times x plus x. Now according to contestant A, the value of x to this problem is 1. Then according to contestant B, the value for x to this problem is 0 and then 1. Now which of these contestants do you support? Let me know that in the comment section right now. I'm going to be the judge for the day. But before we begin, if you are new here, do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free. There's no charges on that. And you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started with contestant A. Okay. Now according to contestant A, we have bracket here, bracket here bracket here and then bracket here as well. Now according to him, x times x is x squared, then divided by x times x over here is also x squared, then plus x times x is x squared is equal to x times x over here is also nothing but x squared then plus x. All right. So from here we have x squared divided by x squared over here, then plus x squared is equal to x squared plus x, all right? x squared over x squared is 1, then plus x squared over here, and this is equal to x squared plus x, all right? Now from this point, adding negative x squared to the both sides, we have 1 plus x squared minus x squared is equal to x squared minus x squared plus x. So that this one will cancel this. Now we have 1 is equal to, then this side to this one will cancel this. So we have x over here. So this implies that x is equal to 1 according to contestant A. Okay, so this is contestant A's argument. x is only 1, right? Now let's move on to contestant B, right? So according to contestant B, we have big bracket here and then big bracket here as well. Then we have small bracket within the big bracket, okay? Then we have another small bracket here, small bracket here as well. Now, according to him, we have x times, this x divided by x is nothing but one, okay? Then times this x over here. And then we have plus x times x over here is x squared, and this is equal to x times x over here is also x squared, then plus x, all right? So from here, we have x times 1 is still x, then times x is x squared, then plus we have x squared over here, and this is equal to x squared plus x, right? So from this point, we have x squared plus x squared, which is 2x squared is equal to x squared plus x. All right. Now from this point, equating everything to zero, we have 2x squared minus x squared minus x is equal to zero. Now 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. Then we have minus x over here, and this is equal to zero. We have x here and then x here, so we can factor x out. So we have x minus one is equal to zero. So this statement means that x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now from here, let's make x the subject. So from this side, we have x is equal to 1. So in all, according to contestant B, x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1. Now, being the judge for the day, I'm going to plug these values into the equation to see which one of them satisfy the equation. So, beginning from contestant A's argument, the value for x to this problem is 1. So, putting 1 into this problem, we have 1 times 1 over here, then divided by 1 times 1 over here, plus 1 times 1 over here is equal to 1 times 1 then plus 1, okay? So from here, 1 times 1 is 1, then divided by 1 times 1 is also 1, then plus 1 times 1 is also 1, then is equal to 1 times 1 here is 1, then plus 1, okay? 1 divided by 1 is still 1, then plus 1 is 2, okay? 
and this is equal to, then this side we have 1 plus 1 is also 2. So we can say that x is equal to 1 is a solution to this problem, okay? Now from contestant A, the value is only 1. Now according to contestant B, the value for x includes 0, okay? So plugging 0 into this, we have 0 times 0 divided by 0, then times 0 plus, okay, and this whole thing is in big brackets, okay, then we have 0 times 0 over here is equal to, then this side we have 0 times 0, then plus 0, okay. Now starting from this side dealing with the small bracket first, you can see that we have 0 divided by 0, which is indeterminate, okay. This ends the argument for x being 0. So we can say that the value of x to this problem is 1, okay? And this ends it. So now I will say that contestant A is fully right and then contestant B is partially right. The winner for this contest is contestant A. Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.